All right, Alec, welcome back to Black Mirror. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Last time we talked about San Junipero, which made for a very fruity conversation. All right. And, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of an explanation of this is that? Uh, that was an interesting. That was a really Alec interesting fruitful. episode. Oh, fruitful. Okay, that's maybe more what you meant, not fruity. But also fruity. Yeah. Right? Was... Come on. Okay. Uh, okay. They're gay. That's why. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was very interesting. Uh, very against form, but it was uh, a welcome change. I really liked the episode a lot. So let's yeah. see. So we've got two episodes left this season. Uh, as always, we're doing one each week, and. Uh, you can go back. We have a playlist of all the Black Mirror episodes we've done. We've done the re- episodes so far. You can see our reactions to each one. I have seen the episode before, but Alec has not seen them, so I'm taking them oh. along through. All right. It's so, been a journey. As always, click the link in the description to see the highlights of our reaction and come back afterwards for the discussion. Okay. <laughs> Men against fire. Well, what do you think? Um, I didn't really like it. <laughs> uh, it was it was okay. Um, that was pr- it's probably the most heavy-handed episode of Black Mirrors that I can think of, except for maybe well, one of the reasons the Waldo moment's so low is because of how heavy-handed that tends to be. This is like this is basically like the the like subtlety the and yeah that's the subtlety of like a freaking sledgehammer mm-hmm. freaking pounds it into your head like i got it like i think i got it kind of late i was like oh i get it now and then it like kept going on for the same like message like for the next 25 minutes basically and it's like oh mm-hmm. um interesting though like i i will say like despite the fact that it's i, I didn't really like it all that much uh lots of really interesting like it is still interesting to consider like the the perils of a technology like this right you know that's an interesting science fiction story somebody who has a a, who is able to break free of a of a programming and then has to come to terms with it it just kind of sucks that the technology is forcibly like well we could we could let you go but unfortunately you're screwed if if we let you go because you are just going to play everything that you did for real for the rest of your life yeah, only well, made sure after San Junipero was like, oh, let's get us- ourselves back on track here. No, we, we don't, let's not make it seem like we actually have a positive uh, outlook yeah. on how, how this technology <laughs> can be used. Hell no. All right, this is what we're going um, to see. Yeah, you're going to be tortured with your own actions that you didn't know you were committing in in full truth. And then we control your vision and we control your calm and all these layers. Yeah, I just, that's, I still, it's a sticking point. Like, I just don't, like, is it supposed to be, like, that's, the intent of that is to, because they did something, they did something bad, it's, like, you know, something actually, like, wicked and, and vile, um, because they're basically doing ethnic cleansing, more or less. Um, mm-hmm. Is, like, basically, is is the is the feed, they give them, like, a, a sexual dream as, like, a feedback loop to be, like, what you did was a good thing. See yeah, here, things that you're you're proportionally rewarded based on how yeah. well you do. Also, yeah, like you're gonna have a more freaking sexy night. The Except more that kills looked, you get, that looked like an actual night. I mean, a lot of it was <laughs> yeah. just thing glitching, but it it still seemed like an actual nightmare, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, and then it was like you you tried to cover it up. And yeah, but they're like, no, this is what we want you to see. You yeah, we know you come. must see. You must come more. <laughs> yeah, it's just like just yeah. To come. This is what That's you're being so, rewarded. So weird. Take a um, reward. You love. But it. they don't actually seem to get any like legitimate pleasure out of it. Like other than maybe, oh, you get the memory of that now. Because like, I mean, but they you know, talk I, about it like they're like, oh, you're gonna like sleep yeah. good tonight, huh? You did. Yeah, already. I know. This. Yeah. Yeah, there's just like there's a lot about that. Like it's like it's weird. It's weird how much in the in the script is sort of about that. Like it's it's just I don't know. Strange point, but I guess that I guess it sort of again goes back to like that's that's sort of psychologically programming that like yeah, what you did was good, and so you need to do that more because we're giving you a reward for doing so, little puppet. Mm-hmm. Um. So how they present it from the beginning is that like everybody is all gung ho. 
everybody's obviously like freaking enthused to be killing these roaches like ah yeah we hate roaches you got you got like, two kills already man you're killing it man it's just man. it's just again i guess it just goes to the social programming but it's like like none of them seem to have any kind of problem with it like at all i guess or something it, because they, they're monsters they eliminate yeah so it's like oh well why could you possibly be protecting them they're monsters so this guy's a weirdo for sure like i can see how that technology would have that kind of uh Mm. result too where it is like they just it's so they're so separated from it it's like it's a monster (laughs) it's like you can't even communicate with the thing it looks like it's aggressive so yeah it they made it seem like it's like it it is like a trying to attack you kind of like despite the fact that they're like cowering so there's no, the they don't present them, yeah. much of an angle for, that's the whole purpose of it. There's not much of an angle for them to sympathize with them. Yeah. But, I mean, they did show that guy who they made seem like he was some, like, super religious, religious weirdo or something, yeah, yeah. Because he wanted to protect them. But I wonder what he, what his whole mindset was or his perspective. I mean, like, his whole he, mindset. He actually, I think he might actually... Well, no, because yeah, they don't see they don't see him, so he's just actually being a good guy. <laughs> yeah, so he's like legitimately being like like no, like yes, that is exactly why because they are God's creatures, and this is what I'm doing. I'm protecting human life. It's like the most noble thing you could possibly do. And yeah, no, then they just bring him off to the loony bin because the as civilians, a war, war criminal, the civilians yeah. see them as as normal people, but there's the whole us versus them mentality of it i don't and again i don't it's just so it seems like overly on the nose that all of this came about from like dna testing Mm -hmm. it's just like oh my gosh like yeah okay i think i'm i don't necessarily trust governments to have all that information my parents already did it so i know my genetic information whether i like it or not like i don't have much faith or trust in the systems that be that 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 information is like protected by any means like but i think we're i think we're probably like four or five hundred years away from something this extreme where we're actually like ethnic cleansing (laughs) based on based on our uh genetic information like the thing is too is it's like you you have to have like many sociopaths that have climbed their way to the top which is actually um that's actually a fairly common thing is that sociopaths do have a have a, a way or a means of finding their ways into pa- positions of power. Mm-hmm. So it's like that's that in and of itself isn't necessarily beyond the realm of possibility. The, what is beyond the realm of possibility in my mind, which makes it like so wildly ridiculous and like that's what makes the commentary maybe a little too on the nose is just like like you you have to you have to suspend the disbelief that like oh yeah just like the i mean the government may just be hiding this from people but like it's yeah, people are seemingly okay cuz all this genetic information came out and but the little girl there was the little girl though right she said like oh you need to stop coming here she was like hmm. praying for him and like something oh, there was, that was a little thing earlier on right. but and then well our cat how he presents it, like talking about the previous wars, and how mm. you know the, the military needed to keep, get their act together to actually get get it done. And now we're at like uh, this point where it's like for the survival of the human race or something. This is necessary, and it's like no, no, it's not. But um, I, I <laughs> war monger, war mongers will make their case, I guess, for continuing to uh, to wage war. But it's just like, I don't know, it, it, when everyone's comically evil and there's no, like, nuance to the discussion, I mean, like, it can be hard to make to make sort of, like, military or political stuff kind of play both sides. Like, it, it's almost like you sort of have to, when you're writing, make make them out to be evil, but it's like... Uh, yeah, because well, felt... you can see how people could justify it in their minds, right? If they have yeah. an actual means to an end they feel yeah. like it's actually necessary i just don't see where it's actually like they could actually think it's necessary to do that even right. if you take out the strict morality of it it's like, right it's like it it's seem just like based the, on a tendency a genetic tendency like that's not like criminal so tendency and yeah you know, sexual deviance, I like that. Sexual deviance like so it's like for the preservant 
Oh, because they're not they're not making babies. They're just freaking. They love anal sex. These freaks. So <laughs> they're gay. <laughs> they're, not, they're not producing. They're not producing children. So the further or... human race, we have to kill them, right? Because then they'll just pass on their genes. But but no, if they're passing on their genes, then they're furthering the human race. So that doesn't really work. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Like well, genes, that's you know. Yeah, just can't genes. get those genes. So they, all the other genes are okay though. Like. Like yours, you know, you seem like a real upstanding citizen. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, that whole thing about like, yeah, you clearly gave your, you clearly gave your consent, and it like shows what the video of him being like, like, yeah, whatever. This like goes against your point. Like, I, the video that was not weird too. I almost like it to me. It would have almost been better if it, he was actually originally agreeing to it. Like, to me, it would have made the point like so more like it, yeah. ominous or something. Well, uh, you yeah, know? I think yeah, they didn't want to give any um any credit to the point you know they wanted to yeah. show oh, like, even his point is based in this loose version of consent and then this 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 choice that he gives him at the end like you have the choice it's either you we um wipe all this and make go back to normal or incarceration which is by the way not good you won't like that one but you have the choice yeah so. incarceration and we're gonna play this on loop constantly for you mm-hmm. so yeah, um, to get a taste of what it looks like without a mask. Yeah, and we could just take away your eyesight. That's yeah. cool too. Yep, that's cool. That's cool. So that means that the technology is recording stuff like in real time the whole time. Right. Yeah, it's like all the other Black Mirror eye technologies. Mm. It's it's cool they keep doing doing stuff with that, but yeah. So like, also, like, there's no choice. Like you could say no. Yeah. And then he what. what they make this. It seem, he made it seem like you have to act. You have to willingly do it, and willingly. Yeah. So this, they can just coerce you into willingly doing it. Then that's fine. That's a go ahead. But I feel like they so would then, just keep. He would just keep piling on stuff until he did it anyway. Yeah. He'd be like all right, well, I'm just gonna torture you more. And yeah, then, and then so, but then I guess at the end he had a a long and and worthwhile military career where he was lauded and medaled and. Like that was just such a weird, creepy scene yeah, at the what, end there yeah, too. What exactly is the context of that scene? We're like, what's going on here? They're like, that, that's he's on leave or something. That's like his. Uh, they give him right, a that's like house, his. Like, that's his. That's his. That's his furlough. His furlough is he gets to go have an imagined encounter with whoever that is. It, it could be just some random dream girl. Is all it seems like. It's kind of wild though, because like yeah, it's like a shitty house that he's seeing is really good, but it it says that. This technology, the mass implant, actually affects all your senses, like all of them. Yeah. yeah. So, as far as he's concerned, even though it looks like a shitty house, it's still the cushions on the couch will still feel good. Like yeah. everything will feel and, and look. So you might as well be in a good house, I guess. But yeah, even but though even though you're it's like woman, that's the whole. Yeah, you're having sex on a rusty bed with all those nasty springs all coming out. But hey, it feels good while you're doing it, I guess, right? Yeah. Like where does the <laughs> How much does it protect you from? Like you're hurting yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you're getting <laughs> on this. Uh oh, you're shoving your dick in that rusty <laughs> into that rusty uh, spring. Oh no. Now you got tetanus. Yeah, like what's oh, that's not gonna, like what, That's what's not gonna going further the human this, race. This imaginary woman, you know? Because there'd just be calm yeah. everywhere. All right. Yeah. I mean... What a weird, a strange thing. It was very yeah. It's a very dark, de- depressing ending. Yeah, but I mentioned it in the episode. I do like how they, print, what was her name? Um, Rye, Ray, or was it Rye? Yeah, they made her just like kind of. They made her sort of just not as comically evil as the other guy, but they did make her just like straight up like bloodthirsty. But it was important. Important. It was important. They did that, right? It was important. They did that for his for the for our main character's sake. Yeah. Right, because like otherwise, um, otherwise it's like. You wouldn't be rooting for him to like, like, well, you wouldn't have like this hatred or any strong reaction towards her because he would be, she's basically in the same position he was in before. But right. The fact that she, on top of that, is like all, all gung ho about just killing and loves, and just loves it as yeah, like a she, sport. She already wants to kill, she, she kind of wants to kill other normal civilians anyway. So, yeah. Like it almost doesn't yeah, matter yeah, so much to her. Yeah, that. So it already, that, that was already yeah. teasing so that the, the scene later would be a little more believable when they first did the reveal, when she yeah. shoots a civilian, but it's actually a roach to her. Right. But it was like just so casual. She just kept it pushing, like it just shot the civilian. So it's like I, I kind of buy it. She's kind of unhinged, you know. Yeah. 
but it's, it's a pretty cool reveal to the twist of it at least yeah that's a it's a it was a very black mirror twist it was a good one though mm-hmm. so and i do like the little translator device that's cool that's that's practical yeah, yeah. google has a technology that's similar to that but it's uh it's not as like immediate as this is the but we'll say it was interesting yeah. it was interesting because like they were speaking you know danish so it was like it's already very close to english so it was like a lot of it was like wait i got what they said though do they need to translate that like i i, I know what he said the irony um, that it's bridging this gap of communication but also it's, it's staunchly a story about people like being against certain groups yeah. because they're just a certain group i know I know that's so wild. That's pretty. That's cool. that's actually that to me like that's almost more poignant than than every, anything else in the episode is is the, is that exact point. Mm-hmm. So, and they had some like the finger twitches. So it was like I guess that's indicating yeah. their dreams that they go on through your yeah. eye thing. Anything else? And then the flashlight device was very Doctor Who yeah. esque, like you said. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what's with the what's with the sonic screwdriver? And apparently that disrupts the mass system. So it is that is feel very Doctor Who, right? It's mm-hmm. like, oh, you use the sonic, and then oh no, like oh, I'm seeing reality now. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. I like there's, there's some depth to it because they even show like the roaches have this whole little hideout and like stuff going on, so they're not like you could tell just from that they're not like super they're not stupid creatures you know they're actually intelligent yeah yeah especially because they're like oh they're siphoning power and it's like (laughs) okay well if they're siphoning power that that would imply that they're not really like complete monsters yeah they have a sniper rifle yeah ah roach with a sniper rifle jesus christ (laughs) Uh, (laughs) uh, all right well um Let's see. Where where would you rank it? Let's see where our rankings are right now. It's the lowest of the season, easily for me. Um, but let's see what the rest. All right, so we got currently playtest, White Christmas, entire history of you, or no? Did we put San Junipero above that? No. No, below it. Playtest, White Christmas, entire history of you, San Junipero, fifteen million merits, shut up and dance, nosedive. Be right back, White Bear, National Anthem, and the Waldo moment. Boy, I'd probably put it right before the Waldo moment. Right before. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'd have National Anthem above it. Very, I'm very. We're pretty lockstep with this. I, I'm, yeah. I'm either there or above National Anthem. Yeah, National Anthem. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of almost reconsidering my position of nosedive, though. That that's actually kind of gone up a little bit for me, as I've thought about it more. Okay. But I don't know. I think, I think maybe we should wait till the end of the season before we do any massive reordering. Right, and then so. and once we're done all the episodes, we definitely gotta do like a whole, we we'll do like a whole yeah. tier list or something. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Hmm. Yeah. So, I think that's fair. to Put it below national anthem. Yeah. See, national anthem, national anthem, is uh, I would say is a is a is a darkly, uh, uh, I don't know. It feels like strangely more relevant. I guess I don't necessarily know how what I mean by that, but like I don't know. It just like it's. I guess maybe it's a more unique story. Like this is very much like military bad. Military gets technology, does bad thing. I feel like it's just like I've seen that. It's. That's that's why I was sort of like kind of like ah uh, like this again. It's sort of like what I felt about that the episode, and it's like, yeah. look, I I'm I'm no like I have very mixed feelings about like the military in general. So like I get it. I don't trust a lot of the military either. Um, not saying that. Not saying anything against men and women actually serving. The higher ups, I don't really trust per se. Um, but that comes from my distrust of authority in general. So, mm-hmm. um, but like, uh, I don't know. It's just like, it's such a, it's such a, it feels just like such an overdone sort of trope, like military bad. It's like, yeah, I, I know. You think Thanks. that's what lowers it so much? Cause it's, you know, I've always kind of, no. I've always kind of seen this episode as like one of the ones that doesn't stand out much to me. And it's kind of on the lower end of, ones I would like rewatch or something like that, but I yeah. never quite place why exactly. I think, I think that's well. part, I, I think that's part of it. I, that's, that's part of it to me, I think, because it's like, 
Uh, yeah, I think I think that's that's kind of what I'd say. Like, it just feels very. It's maybe just a little too on the nose. It's it, the, the technology is good, but it feels like it's always it's been done explored better in all these other places. I guess maybe because it's a it's a militaristic thing, it's less relatable and less personable than a than like any of the sort of drama related ones that we have higher up. Um, I think all those factors are definitely why I why I didn't care for it as much. Um, I think you can do interesting things with with military stories, but I don't think this was one of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so. and, I don't know. We, there's not too much like likable about the characters either. There's not something I really can. Yeah, like the main guy. Ultimately, it turns out he's like he's a nice guy, but the other characters, was... there's like no one else likable or. I was gonna also say there's no real acting showcase here. I think he does. He's a fine. The guy does the main actors probably does the best job. But like, mm -hmm. no one's really like. This isn't like a like the uh, even shut up and dance like, phenomenal acting displays on both of them. Like very depressing episode, horribly depressing episode. But the two leads in that are phenomenal. San Junipero, another one, great acting by the leads. I think they just do a wonderful job. A lot of depth. Um, especially with uh, Gugu Mabatha Ra's character, yeah, and there's chemistry there. You know, most mm. most all of them there's at least chemistry to a point, and like fun. Yeah, Nosedive, I would say, I would say is a really good. Uh, again, another good tour de force for uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. I think she's fantastic in that. This is just kind of like, yeah, it's all right. You know, there's nothing like overly like challenging the, or interesting. The best moments, I would say, are like. The little interaction between um, Stripe and Katarina, that, that human, like the, yeah, yeah, that was like, good. That that's kind of where she's explaining that to him. That's that's, that's some good stuff human there. Moment, and then the end part is, is pretty yeah. effective too. Or, but yeah. yeah, I did. I think yeah, my favorite scene I think was what him trying to like come to terms with like all this new information, yeah, like that really everything he. Yeah, and everything he does, everything he does about it, like is very like natural. Like he's like, he's just trying to figure it out, and then he's like, he's like, maybe she's still lying, so he's still like holding the gun just to have something like there to almost protect him from the information. So that's some that's some like good stuff there. Mm -hmm. The rest of the episodes kind of like all right, you know. Yeah, but... I do like what they do with the little scene where you get to relive it. He had to relive what he did. Mm. It seemed like they went like purposely like overboard with the like the blood with it too. It yeah, like to really. Oh yeah, they, they stabbed his neck and it was like spraying everywhere. It was like some pretty good. Those are those are some pretty good squibs there. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was some that was some chunky liquidy blood. But it's like going everywhere that to drive it home. It's like yeah, damn, this is rough. <laughs> this is rough, and the fact that he kept stabbing him, yeah, for no good reason to begin with. First of all. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> moment. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Uh, I guess. I, I guess. Uh, yeah. Another point I actually did kind of think was interesting. It was an interesting twist, and I thought it would be a little bit more interesting. Like that, he was hiding the information. That he was like, yeah, no, no. I guess I just felt like regret, and it's like, no, you didn't. You you clearly loved it. You you like you were really in the moment. Well, he said I thought. Like, he went, the, didn't he say I thought I'd feel regret, and but it wasn't there. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe it's something like that. Yeah. That's because they made but, it. This is like yeah. when people would would talk about like violence in video games, that kind of thing. This is like bringing yeah. it to life. It's like you're fucking fighting zombies out here, so they're gonna make a game out of it. The freaking yeah. training is just them killing roaches. They're obsessed. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, come well. back next week for the season finale for season three. Wow, wow, right, we're already there. Extra long episode. I think it's ninety minutes for that one. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, look forward to that next week. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, sure. And in the meantime, what video would you recommend our viewers watch? And they should go check out our review of Be Right Back, another Black Mirror episode. That one, it's like we, we put that pretty low and we don't talk about it too much, like comparatively, but I think it's yeah. it, we probably it deserves more credit than we gave it. I, th I, th I think it does too. Uh, the more I've thought about it, that's another one where it's like, the more I thought about that one, the more I, I think is... That was a really good episode. Yeah, I think it'll be fun if we do a tier list at the end of all of them, like to be able to really think about it, where we would place yeah. them at the end. 
But yeah, that, yeah. that was always cool. It was kind of like a little indie film. And that's like a more, a much more intimate story. And, and I think those work really mm. well with Black Mirror too. Yeah, it does. I agree. I like it. Which I heard recently they are working on more Black Mirror now. Really? Which they hadn't they hadn't been for a long time, but I I was reading rec- I read somewhere recently that that they're uh they're starting the writing process and they're gonna be filming. Is that for real? So that's I for real. It looked like a couple weeks ago and it was still like, Yep, looks like we'll never get any more black mirror again, like period is what it seemed like. Really? No, I could have swore I read somewhere that they were they were talking about like like legitimately starting it up, so Okay. If so, that's that's great it'd be it'd be good it'd be nice spoiler alert the last episode that they ever made is not my favorite so <laughs> it looks like it ended I, on a different uh, better I, note. yeah yeah so come back next week all right it'll be fun be good yeah all right yeah, it's see always then. fun and it's always lollipops and rainbows with black mirror this is That's one right. thing you know about it all right subscribe to the channel if you enjoy like the video leave a comment let us know what you think Hit the notification bell and click the link in the description for our social media. Or media's. Social media's. Right.